Hi, beautiful. There is a hair mask that retails for $225. Not doll hairs, doll -ers. If my hair isn't the softest, shiniest, silkiest, sexiest hair on earth after this, I wasted $225. So we're gonna put it to the test. I'm gonna give you the honest truth if I like it or if I don't like it or if I feel kind of in the middle. Why don't we just do it? Okay, hair is freshly washed. Hold on though. Let's dissect this, shall we, before we get into it. Let's really understand what I'm putting on my head and see if it's worth $225 just by the ingredients, the packaging, everything that goes into it before we actually feel the results on my head. So let's start off by reviewing the way that it came packaged. Here is the box, okay? Cute, all right, living, okay, a little little pouch, honestly, a cute little accessory. I always love a good branded accessory. Like, listen, I, I'm glad it came with something. I really am because for $225, it better come with a cute ass thank you card and a, oh, and a complimentary gift. What is this? Scalp scrub, as they should, period. See, that makes sense to me. Props to you. Be. And then inside we have this, our gold mask. What does a $225 hair mask look like, you ask? It better be gold. I can't open the box. It is very soft though. I should take a little video before I destroy the whole thing, shouldn't I? Oh my God, should I light it up too? I'm gonna give it the whole experience right now. Ooh, yeah, baby. Ooh, yeah. Look at that luxurious stamp on the top. All the information. Ooh, yeah, 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 baby. Philippi, Russian Ember Imperial. Gold mask. I love when people spell mask with a Q U E. Oh, it is gold. Ah. Listen, she is glistening. Why did I just smell the box? I don't know, but it felt it felt like I needed to. Let me get a close up of this too before I get my fingerprints on it. Ooh. Ha. Ah. Yeah, baby. There she is. Hot. My whole plan today was to go through the reviews first and understand like what are the good things people have to say, what are the bad things people have to say, because there's always good and bad reviews on like every product, right? When do you ever see anything without bad reviews? Today was the day that I didn't see any bad reviews. Let me bring you back for a second. I went on the website and I found the page, right? And then I went to reviews and it said, you know, 22 reviews, a solid five stars. I have to be honest with you. When I see that it is a little bit of a red flag, nothing has all great reviews I and mean, nothing, no product. My first instinct is like, okay, they might be hiding reviews that are not five stars. And then I was like, okay, let's just give them the benefit of the doubt and let's go through the rest of the website. So I went through the rest of the website and I only found one other product. I didn't go through every single product, but I found one other product that has four star review. So it seems like they either have really good products or not every single review is posted to the website. I don't know. You can make your own decision on that. I'm just the investigator today. I'll give you the information. I can't make a decision for you. A little weird though. But anyways, some of the great things that people have said about this mask are, this is the best conditioning hair mask you can buy. Creamy, gold, toned, smooth. It transformed my hair into what it should be. Beautiful, highly recommend. Did the price tag hurt? Sure, but it's no different than splurging on a nice outfit every once in a while. I use it on a special occasion or just when I want a pick me up. It leaves my hair so rejuvenated, silky and smooth, soft. The scent puts a smile on my face. This is the most magical conditioner in the whole universe. My hair looks and feels soft, healthy, and I can't stop touching it. Guarantees an exceptional hair day. Okay, work. If that doesn't make you want to try this, I don't know what's gonna. So I don't put this stuff on my head already. This is taking way too long. I'm sorry. We'll end up learning more later about the product and what the ingredients are because like I need to sit a long time. I want to give this the best chance it has to be the most miracle mask on planet earth because for $225, it better be the best shit I ever tried in my fucking life. <sighs> All right, let's learn how to put this on. I mean, it's a hair mask, but let's see if they have any special way of doing it. So it claims to revitalize, revives, and regenerates all hair types. Restores natural shine and luster, bounce and body, lost by chemical processing, heat styling, and environmental damage, prevents breakage and split ends. Ooh. Apply a large dollop of gold mask to wet hair and massage into your hair with your hands in a downwards motion. Comb through your hair, leave on for three to five minutes. If hair is very dry or brittle, leave on for 20 minutes or longer for a more intense restoring treatment. Rinse thoroughly. We're leaving on for 20 minutes because we're doing the maximum time. First impressions. I mean, I would rate the packaging like seven. It's not my style. It's definitely like in your face. I would just wish it was like heavier, like the cap, I wish it was like weighted. Um, So that's what I only critique for now. Okay, smell test. What a interesting smell. I don't know what it smells like. 
It is not my type of scent. I honestly suck at describing fragrances. I don't know why the word Play-Doh keeps coming to my head and I, I just feel so offensive to say that. I have to be honest, it smells like Play-Doh to me. Like scented Play-Doh, like perfume Play-Doh. And I think it is a, a brand for more established, older um, women, I'm guessing. Like this, it's giving me that vibe and their branding is giving me that vibe. Maybe you would like it, I don't know. It's not exactly my cup of tea. It's sort of gold inside. It's more of like a yellow. It's very hard to make things gold with hair products. It's very sparkly. So just a little rundown of my hair. I definitely have bleach damage. We used to be a double process. So about that much of my hair is double processed. Then I have highlights and then I have my natural hair up here that is growing in. So I have a lot going on. I'm curious if it's gonna make this part of my hair greasy, this part of my hair like feel really nice or if it's gonna be all balanced all over. I wonder how hydrating it is. I'm gonna do this on half my head and not on the other half so you can see the difference and let's get into it. All right. Once I dip my hands in here, this is not returnable. 225 dollars on my hair let's do it all right it is kind of like gummy huh oh my god it's so glittery oh god okay let's go on this side of my head all right first impressions i will say it feels like a hair mask it definitely feels a bit more gummy than like what i'm used to i think we're gonna put a lot of it on because girl i'm getting my money's worth me this is where like most of my damage is on the front of my hair. So hopefully it really does a number there. And it does say to comb through. So we will definitely be doing that as well because I am following directions today. It's such a weird texture. It's literally gum love. Why am I using a tiny little comb? to make sure it's on all of my hair strands. Ooh, it does feel soft back here, I think. It sort of feels like I have conditioner mixed with like pomade. So that's interesting. <laughs> I love that though. Like I am looking for a unique experience. I wouldn't have spent $225 in a hair product if I was not looking for a unique experience. So I'm glad that it feels different. I'm glad that it's not the usual mask. I want this to be like dripping off my head. I can feel it regenerating, baby. Oh, my receding hairline's popping out, babe. <laughs> Go back in there. Okay, as I continue to work this product through my hair, let's go through some of the um, main key ingredients a part of this product that maybe make it so expensive. So right away on the label, we're seeing uh, mica as the second product. It's in like eyeshadow. It's the things that make it bright and glittery and cute, obviously, because the whole thing is gold. So you're gonna need a lot of mica to do that. Satiro alcohol is used to soften the hair. This is a very common product in conditioners and it is not actually like rubbing alcohol. People always confuse satiro alcohol with rubbing alcohol, but let's keep going. This also has has pea peptides in it, which promotes hair growth and prevents hair loss by stimulating and strengthening follicle stem cells. Seems interesting. It has oleosomos psalms, uh, which is a time-release botanical moisture delivery system, which can provide you all day moisture and shine. Huh. Um, we have some fruit extract like papyrus, apple, uh, which contains alpha hydroxy acid. There's argan oil, we all know what that is. There's amino acids, which reinforces the hair strand and strengthens while encouraging regrowth. There's panthenol, which reduces split ends and improves the texture of the hair and also makes it appear thicker. Corn oil, which is good for the skin and hair. It helps lock in the moisture and prevent dryness. There's citric acid, which makes your hair shiny and puts a protective coating on your hair. And there's glycolic acid, which which softens and protects the hair. The ingredients that really had me interested are the pea peptides and the oleosomes, or however you say that. I honestly have never heard of the oleosomes. Um, seems interesting. I have never personally come across that, so I'm glad there's something in this product that is like different to me. Even as somebody who creates products day in and day out, like I never heard of that. Now I can't speak to as if these actual ingredients are expensive, say, to use in uh, creating your own hair product. I don't actually deal with buying the ingredients for a hair product, so I don't exactly know what things are more or less expensive, so I can't speak to that. But for what I see, it's a pretty good list and it has some definitely interesting ingredients that may make it worth the $225 price tag, except I don't know if anything makes it worth that much. I don't know. All right, well, I finished applying this to my hair. We're gonna wait 20 minutes and um, I will be back with my hair all dried on both sides and we can analyze the results of this gold hair mask. Fingers crossed it turns out good. By the way, my hands are covered in glitter. I know you would think that I love glitter, but to be honest with you, I do love the look of it, but it drives me fucking crazy. Like, get off of me. I'm gonna try and get this off. It's all over everything right now. Quick update, I just washed my hands and they are still covered in glitter. I'll show you. You see all those little sparkles? You can't really see it on camera, but like in real life, there are so many sparkles. You can see it now. Look at all those. It's never gonna come off.
<laughs> if you've been following me for a long time, you'll know that I don't really do a lot of reviews about other products. Hair care, not hair technology. I do tech stuff, but hair care, I tend to stay away from just because I don't like to give people bad reviews. And if I don't like the product, I just feel bad. And I know that people put a lot of work into their products and maybe I'm just not getting it. You know, everybody to each their own. A hair product is very uh, subjective, right? Some people can love a certain product and some people can completely hate it. Believe me, I know. So these reviews are very opinion based and I'm just gonna go into it by saying that. Now, I just rinsed my hair and I conditioned this side that I didn't use the mask on, which is regular conditioner. So one thing I noticed is when it was on my hair, it was very stiff. And sometimes hair masks can get stiff if you leave them on for a long time, but this one was like weirdly like plasticky stiff, you know? It was kind of like a weird feeling. And then I rinsed it off. To be honest, it kind of felt like I didn't even like put conditioner on my hair. It just kind of ran off my hair and it didn't have that like silky soft feeling that I was expecting. And you know, my regular conditioner made my hair feel conditioned. This side just feels kind of like I shampooed it and then that was it. But I don't know, maybe it's more working on the inner components of my hair rather than the silky softness of it. But for $225, I would expect it to do both. I'm gonna dry my hair now and um, we'll give a close up inspection of if there's any difference going on. I mean, I only use this mask once. Maybe I have to use it multiple times to see a huge difference. I don't know, let me just dry it real quick. My hair's getting so long. Like for me, this is very long. <laughs> I always forget that when you have long hair, it takes a long time to dry. Like on myself, I'm expecting, oh, it'll be two seconds. No, it's gonna take me 20 minutes to dry this. And that's one thing I hate about having long hair. I'm also only using my hands to dry because brushes can really soften and smooth the hair and make it a lot shinier. So we're gonna avoid sort of manipulating the hair too much um, so we can really see the, the real effect of the mask. So far, maybe there is like a little bit of a difference. I don't know, let's keep drying. Okay, we are dry. Are you ready? <laughs> I am ready to feel both sides of my head and see if there is any difference between the regular condition side, this side, and the Philippi gold mask side. Hair ASMR for you. Yeah, it feels the same. They both feel soft, except I honestly like usually have soft hair. Um, This is me rough drying my hair. <laughs> like my hair is very smooth naturally. Thankfully, I don't have to do like shit to it. This is the side with the mask. And this is without. I don't know, it feels the exact same. Okay, are you ready for my final thoughts about this $225? air mask. <laughs> Let's get into it. I'm sitting here like trying to put my words together. Um, I don't know what to say. A part of me is like, first of all, I look like Princess Diana. Um, second of all, we've seen the hair. I can wet it now. Great. Let me get my life back for a sec. Great. That's better. I would say that, you know, a mask should be used multiple times, you know, to see big results. But would I expect that the mask would make my hair really soft after one use? Yes. Or else I, I would have no reason to use the mask, right? There could be things going on inside my Hair, but it doesn't feel stronger. It doesn't look shinier. It doesn't feel silkier. Would I use the mask again? Probably not. Do I think it's like an awful, terrible product? No, I think it definitely has its demographic. You know, I don't think it's me. I think if you're the type of person who likes splurging on skincare and hair care, and you want to feel a sense of luxury or, you know, use a brand name, this could be of interest to you. I personally, on my own hair, didn't notice the gigantic results. Um, I didn't notice much results at all. And that's my verdict. Like I wouldn't use it for $225. I think it should do a lot more. I'm just gonna say it. Update on my hands though. The glitter did wash away and I don't see glitter on my hair because I was worried I was gonna go to sleep and it was gonna be everywhere and it would annoy the shit out of me. But there is no glitter on my hair anymore. So I tried it. We have our answer and I'm out $225. Oh well, I've wasted my money on far worse. Uh, I don't know actually. <laughs> If you want to check out my hair care brand or my hair color brand, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodohair.com. That is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.